Good day fish keepers, living in the Philippines, one has to wonder, why on earth would I ever need a heater for my aquariums? With weather raging from 25 to 28 degrees Celsius and sometimes reaching 33 to 34 on really hot days. Why? Well for me it's all about stability. But a lot of fish keepers have a misconception that using a heater will drastically increase the power bill. So I thought this would be an excellent topic for discussion. And even fellow fish keepers from other parts of the world even with colder climate might find this one interesting. All of the actual testing is done in one take with no cuts and insertions in between to show the actual timeline it takes for a heater to cycle between on and off. Hopefully we will debunk some myths by the time this video is over. And the skeptics will no longer fear the heater. Or questions like, is a 100 watt heater really going to pull 100 watts power from your mains? Am I going to pay high electricity bill if I use a heater? And lastly do I even need a heater? People think that if a 100 watt heater was used it will pull 100 watts during the duration it stays plugged in the outlet. If this were true then let's do the math with our calculator. By the way check out my previous video about computing cost. Link is on the top right corner of the video. Whoa! If 100 watts was indeed the consumption then it will cost 1,152 pesos each month to use a heater. If this was true then I must be a rich man because I run three of these babies he 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 he. But I am not. And I probably would not even consider the use of a heater if that was the true cost. Let's do the test and analyze. I took the liberty to confirm the accuracy of this meter. I used a Omni light rated at 18 watts through it. And indeed it pulls 18 watts. So I know this meter is accurate. Now it's time to plug this in through our heater. This will also confirm manufacturer claims if it is indeed 100 watts. Let me start the timer and plug it in. Notice I kinda took 3 secs from starting the timer to actually plugging the heater on the meter. It's pulling 115 watts. Oh my gosh. 115 watts is a lot of power. Should I now panic? Ha ha ha. Should I now file for bankruptcy? I will now speed up the video to save our sanity and slow back down to normal speed once we are near the target time stamps. While it's speeding up, I would like to mention that one of the several benefits of using a heater is stability. Your tank will not go through temperature swings. And that means your fish will not be stressed. Even if it's blazing hot in the morning till noon and suddenly pour down mad in the afternoon the temp will be the same. At 4 minutes on the timer the heater turns off. That means it takes 4 minutes for the heater to reach the target temp. We will take note of this and continue. Another benefit of a heater is increased metabolism of your fish. If you keep the temp on the high side range of which your fish can handle then it will have increased metabolism. Meaning it will eat more. Then it will grow faster. But course it will also poop more. Now the heater has turned on again. On 22.15 or a total of 18 minutes off rest time. Let's continue again with the benefits to heaters. When it comes also to treating of certain parasites like ick. The higher temps will speed up the life cycle of the ick parasite. And when high heat and meds are combined it kills the ick parasite much more efficiently. The heater has turned on again. Immediately there is a noticeable pattern. The on times are shorter and the off times are longer. I think this is because as the day progresses we are approaching the hottest point of the day. I think it is now safe to draw a conclusion. The heater does not in fact stay 100% on. And that there are on-off cycles. From what was observed every hour we have two on cycles of let's just say 4 minutes for argument's sake and 20 minutes off time. With this in mind, back to the calculator. So with a total of 8 minutes an hour it comes down to 3.2 hours total run time for 24 hours. So this computes to 5.12 pesos per day or 154 pesos a month to operate. Now is that really so bad? Let's take a look at some basic equipment that are indispensable to the hobby. Like most of us run 18 watt air pumps. It cost 207 pesos a month to operate. 
if you're planning to groom a flower horn to its full glorious potential. You will definitely need a heater. Different breeding projects will require a heater. In triggering fish to spawn raising the temperature during conditioning period. Combined with high protein diet like blood worms and BBS. Then followed by suddenly unplugging the heater followed by a cool water change will trigger fish to spawn in most instance. Hatching the eggs and raising the fry faster will also require the use of a heater. To be honest also I will not run a heater if I don't need to. Right now times are tough and wherever we can save we must. For fish that can absolutely tolerate and will still breed in colder water. I won't even bother with a heater. But to say in a statement and be adamant that, I will never use a heater, then you my friend are missing out on some advantages. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It would help me grow my channel.